So today it's Justin Bieber's birthday, and I didn't realize that until I got home because I saw these things about it and just realized, oh my god, it's his birthday and blah blah blah. And unfortunately, YouTube kind of helped me out, helped out with that because of these commercials again with the commercials. But it made me think. It made me think. You know, like why? You know, that's that's the that's the simple question I was asking is why? Why is it that every time it seems these it seems there's a teen pop star? Why is it always that it seems to be some kind of a pop guy, like? Like something you might expect to find in one of those Sears catalog, you know, men's journals or like a like a modeling magazine, I guess you can say, or maybe not even not even just that, but like the music itself is just poppy in general. I mean, you know, why? Why is that? I don't understand. What we need, people, is our own kind of teen star. That's right. I'm talking about a teen metalhead. A teen rocker, someone who's a teenager, who's in his teenager years and is a rocker, and has the capabilities of a full head-on rocker. Not well, we can't really actually expect that yet because he's still in his teens, so he still might be developing his skills. There might not be full yet, but still, he's been doing it for a while. He's still been doing good at it. He's dedicated, and even if he does, even if his first or two first two albums, or maybe his first album or EP or whatever, for this let's say this teen metalhead guy are not the best, that still doesn't mean he's gonna give up. That means he's still gonna keep on working. He's gonna keep he's still gonna he's still perfecting his craft. You know, it's like that's the thing about you know albums and stuff is like you know it doesn't always have to be like bad, I mean, sometimes, you know, they may be improving, you know, they might be working on their mistakes, so, for, like, a teen who isn't as experienced as a guitarist, let's say, someone who's 35 and been playing guitar since they were a teen, you know, it's all a different story, right? Anyway, to the point here, to the point here, we need our own teen star, our own heavy metal teen star. How we're gonna about, how we're gonna go about doing this is a whole nother story in itself. It's just a whole other story in itself, really. Um, the way, like you know, Justin Bieber got famous, really, to really break it down is he got his videos on YouTube. A record producer saw all the videos. He then he then uh, sent the guy to Usher. Usher decided to listen in. Usher thought it was a good investment to sign this guy a contract. Despite the fact he never had an EP, he never had a demo tape, nothing like that. And there you go. That's how. That's basically a short story of it. So, what we need is, we need our own usher. We need someone who's like an usher guy. Who's willing to take in a teen or a youth metalhead. Who's willing to work hard and be successful and be determined. And, you know, play for all the metalheads out there. Whether it be teens or young adults or milder, older adults, you know. We need a teen star like that. We need someone who's going to be able to not just, you know, be, you know, a demographic for teen girls, but also for teen boys. We need a teen, we need a, we need a teen, like, rock star like that. Someone who's going to be not just for the girls, but also for the boys. Who's going to appeal to us as well. Not just to emo girls or metal chicks or rocker chicks, you know. We need someone who's also going to appeal to guys, and so guys can enjoy it as well, and enjoy it for the music as well, you know. And the same thing goes for young adult, the young young young, young adult demographic, and the adult demographic. So what we basically need is our own, like Justin Bieber or Team Metalhead, I guess, but not like Justin Bieber. If you get what I'm saying. I'm saying, what I mean by Justin Bieber is, like, someone with the status quo of Justin Bieber, but with our type of music, and hopefully he'll be better at it, better at it, making it. I think he'll be better, I think that we should have this, because 
I think there's already well I mean there's already bands out there to begin with that are their teens. There's already metal bands out there. I already have one of them. I know one I know one band. That's a full time band already that's in their teens and they got signed to a record cut label. So I already know there are are teen metal bands out there. What they need though is they need the publicity. That's what they need. And that's not what they're getting. So somehow we need to figure out or they need to figure out maybe how are they gonna get that status quo on the scale of let's say, you know, Bieber. Because if we can get that kind of status quo to heavy metal and rock and roll, you know, that would be awesome. Completely and totally awesome. And I think that's something we can we should work towards. Now I'm not just trying to now no, no, now before I go on again I'm not just saying we should only focus on the teen area when it comes to making musicians. We should also focus on the young adults in their 20s also working hard and the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, you know, we can sign anyone. But I feel as though we should also start to strive or work towards getting a teen band as well to be signed. You know, someone in their teens that's a metal band or hard rock band because that would look, I believe that would look good for us and I believe that would show something for us that you know that that you know there are there are youths who are into metal and stuff like that and I mean I know that's apparent already but I think it would be good for us to have that kind of thing I think we need a big huge teen metal band thing going on I mean I don't know how it's gonna happen but I'm willing to make it work I'm willing to make it work let's say in this case I was the usher guy the guy who bring the guy who's gonna make this all happen. The guy who's gonna start off the chain reaction. If I was in the usher, let's let's call him the usher dude position. Yeah, I was. If I was in the usher dude position, I would need a couple things though. First, first I would need some kind of a demo track. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let that happen with the Bieber story usher with usher where you had no. Where I don't think you even had a demo tape. Nothing. You know, I want some kind of demo thing. You know. That's how I'm gonna. That's my investment right there. Is listening to that demo or watching the band perform some live song, live, watching the band perform live some songs they made that they haven't turned into a label that they haven't turned into a demo or EP yet. So then, after I look it over, I sign it. I sign them, and then I talk it over with them, and we talk about discussionings and tours and what we're gonna do and working on your next album and stuff like that and how we're going to promote you guys and you know maybe possibly going on some TV shows doing some interviews saying wh who you are what you like all this other stuff get you into the teen magazines yep that's right right there that's another thing I guess we could talk about right now is the teen magazines I mean you people are fed up with those damn teen magazines anyway I sure as hell am I mean I remember actually looking at a teen magazine one time from the 1970s and it had a picture front picture of the lead singer of Led Zeppelin on it. It's like, wow. That was actually that was actually there at one point. There wasn't these pop stars and these teen pop stars that were on the magazines. It was actually a cover of the front lead singer, the singer, the vocalist of Led Zeppelin on the magazine cover. That's really something right there. I mean, that really is. I mean, just to think that at one point that was the case, that Led Zeppelin was on teen magazines. I mean, why can't it just be like that again? I would be totally fine with that. Plus, I'm pretty sure Led Zeppelin was also on other magazines as well. But yeah, I would be totally... I would, I would be... I would be a, a rock band on the scale of, like, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I mean, that would be something so cool to have back. That's why I feel as though maybe we should, you know, work towards possibly getting these, uh... rock bands on teen magazines as well. The girly teen magazines, too. Yes, yes, I don't see a problem with it, people, and I don't think you should either. Just think about it. Maybe these girls who read these magazines might not become so ignorant of metal bands either. If they see metal bands and rock bands on those teen magazines, they might actually see, you know, what they like and all this other stuff about them, and you might think, hey, you know, they're probably just as normal as me. They like stuff too, you know. They might realize that now, you know. They might realize, hey, you know, well, maybe, you know, like, you know, they gotta, you know, you get some respect for them, you know? So I feel as though that if we get those bands in the teen magazines, 
that would also help, you know, all the merchandise, you gotta get all the merchandise together, you gotta plan it all out, so back to the Usher story, uh, you gotta get the, Usher, you gotta get the band, you know, perform, and go on tours, and uh, merchandise, and, you know, you know, endorsements, and just thinking about it, it's like, how in the world is this all gonna happen to begin with, it's just like, how, you know, I don't understand how this is all gonna happen, but I feel as though it should happen. And I don't see why it should not happen. There are plenty of teen bands out there right now, teen heavy metal and teen rock bands that work hard right now. I bet you those listen, and, and that's including the rock band, the teen rock bands that listen to this right now. I'm pretty sure you guys are working really hard, and I appreciate that. We just need to get you out there more. You can also do that too on your own. You can also, like, if you're in high school or grade school, you can also, you know. Try to get that out to your friends or to people in your high school. It especially helps if you go to a high school or, or live in an area of a city with high schools that have at least 1,000 students. That also helps too. Or at least 600 students. That also helps. So like, you know, but besides that, I mean like, we should try helping out these bands somehow. I mean, why isn't like Metal Blade Records or Nuclear Blast Europe, not, Nuclear Blast not doing anything? Or maybe they are doing something, I'm just not aware of it. See, I'm not aware of it, that's how like, that's, that's like, like, like no one really knows about it. Like teen bands, like, I and I know there are teen metal bands because I know one. I've been in contact with them and they make great music, they already have their first album out, they're already signed to a record label. But... How come they're not as popular as Justin Bieber? I don't understand that. People might think, oh, they're not marketable. Come on, give me a break with that. Not marketable. They're more marketable. I mean, you can probably get a bigger demographic with them, too. Not just teens, but like young adults and, me and older adults, too, are going to like that kind of music. And they're going to be shocked to hear that, you know, those are 17-year-olds playing that kind of music. They're going to be shocked to hear, oh, my God, this is a 17. these are 17-year-olds playing this. I mean, I showed I showed one of my friends this this band, the same band at school, and she liked it. And then I told her, you know, these guys are seventeen, and she was like, yeah, she's like, she was surprised there by that. And I'm pretty sure any almost anyone would be surprised there by that because it's like a teen band that got signed that's playing this kind of music. It's like, you know, you know, it's like you know, you never hear about that. That's why it's probably so surprising to people. When I tell them that. Anyway, if you were wondering about the band, I might as well just say it right now. Their name is Army Rising. And, yeah, I mean, like, I suggest you go check them out as well. They are a good band. They're all, as of right now, they're all 17 years old. And, I mean, you know, they've been playing for a while now, actually. They've been playing for a couple of years, maybe even more than a couple. They've been playing for, I think, about four years now. Five, four four or five years, yeah. So, I mean, like, that's the story, I guess, you know? I mean, I feel as though, again, getting back to this, that we should have our own teen metal bands. And we do have our own teen metal bands. What I meant by that was to have the kind of publicity or status quo of the pop stars, the teen pop stars. I mean, I think we should work towards that. But we need, I think we need, I think what we first need are some really good connections in the music industry to start that off. We need that spark. So we need to look for that spark. Because deep down inside, when you look inside yourself, think about it. Would you rather have, you know, these teen pop stars that we have right now, or these teen people, you know, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift and Rebecca Black and all these other people... Or would you rather have these, the team metal bands, the team rock bands out there on TV? You make the decision. I know what mine is.